Discussing the top tracks from the artists we love. Top fives with Kovi. Right then, people, welcome to a brand new section of the show. Um, out to all of those looking in via youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV as well. We are live on Trickstar Radio for this breakfast with Kovu. And uh, we're jumping into a brand new section of the show, and it goes by the name of Top Fives. As you heard in the introduction, shouts to the uh, wonderful Sabrina for supplying me with some fantastic vocals for that. We are going to be breaking down and discussing my top five releases from different artists each and every week. And that's going to be taking place at this time, so Wednesdays from 9 30 till around a quarter to 10 ish as we do a bit of a breakdown so we're going to be looking at loads of different artists as we do this looking at different styles different genres also looking of course into their sort of selections and obviously this is going to be a slightly biased list because obviously this is coming as my personal favorites bear in mind these aren't like the official top uh, five selling tracks or the top five most interactive with tracks or anything like that these are simply the tracks that i love the most from these um different artists so today we're going to be opening up the uh, new section of the show with a very interesting interesting um, selection following on from his uh, placement into New Music Friday this week alongside Crate Diggers, House Music UK, all of that good stuff. Really, really seeing him explode. The sounds of Bush Baby will be making up today's selection. Now, a bit of background on Bush Baby. He's a um, Brighton-based producer who has really, really excelled in basically being an extremely unique uh, 4x4 style producer. We've heard him do a lot of kind of UK-based stuff to begin with. He's then moved into a much more kind of techie approach. We've seen him do a lot of experimental stuff as well well, which is where we're kicking this list off. We're going back, right back about uh, about four years, I think, on this one, to a much earlier South Point release from uh, Bush Baby, and this one goes by the name of Marble Arch, and this one sits in number five for me, purely because of how creative it was at the time. I remember it being listed in Slack's top uh, ten t- tunes of the year, I think, at the time as well. Something a little bit different from what you may expect from Bush Baby now. However, back in the day, this is exactly what made us get so hooked on his sound. So we're going to get to this one now. Marble Arch by Bush Baby. Oh, yes. And there we go. That is the first one off the list today. Marble Arch in number five from the Bush Baby selection here on Top Fives. Following on from that, we're going to be moving into the second track of today's listing. And we're going a bit more kind of modern in regards to the style that Bush Baby has been starting to kind of uh, move into. This one, a track entitled Sonder. Now, I believe this one was released via um, Meraki. And it's been a, uh, it was a huge tune. We saw it getting double dropped all the time, primarily with a track uh, called uh, I'm Losing It by Fisher, which a lot of people will know, and they had very similar sort of sounds, very similar sort of approaches. However, I do have it on good authority that this one was made a long period before anyone had heard um, losing it. So this is uh, something a little bit different. Again, something that is going to really showcase how big Bush Baby's sound has got over time. Big room synthesizers, massive kind of extended horn lines, and something that's just very, very unique in the way it's been put together. So here we go. Number four on today's listing as we do the countdown coming from Man Like Bush Baby, track entitled Sonder. Oh, yes. There we go. That is his track uh, number, I believe, four on the listing from Bush Baby track entitled Sonder. What an absolute banger it is. Following that, we're going to move into track number three. Now, this one is going to be a tune that's going to be your, that you're going to be hearing all over the airwaves for the uh, foreseeable future, realistically. This one is Bush Baby's brand new single. It goes by the name of The Way You Do It. Now, this is the tune which we believe has opened up a lot of opportunities for Bush Baby moving forward. We've seen it hit New Music Friday, uh, House Music UK, Crate Diggers. Obviously, it's uploaded on the UKF um, YouTube page as well. Seeing Bush Baby sound really, really evolve with this one, taking those kind of techie elements, but still having almost like the the kind of memories and the sort of a slight structural um, kind of layouts of bass music as we hear a killer synthesizer run through the middle of the composition for this one. Very, very interesting stuff. And again, a very catchy vocal line from Bush Baby, who seems to be able to smash them out the park every single time. Let's get into this one then, the way you do it. Number three on today's listing for top fives on Bush Baby. There we go. This one coming from uh, Bush Baby, of course, as we run through his top five here on Trickstar Radio. We are live on Breakfast with Kovu. Uh, That one, The Way You Do It, the brand new single. Make sure you do go and check it out, go and stream it, go and download it, all that good stuff. I believe there's a big feature going up on Beatport today. So uh, we're going to be moving into track number two on the listing. Now, this may surprise a few people because I think most people will have this as their number one. For me, it currently sits in second place. However, Sounds of Bush Baby, again, of course, as we run through this, a track entitled Woman's Touch. 
Touch, one of the biggest tunes of 2019, without a shadow of a doubt. Absolutely huge tune. I believe it was in the Beatport Top 10 for over a year in the garage section. As well as that, it's still in the Top 20, I believe, to this day. Amazing vocal work. One of the catchiest kind of future post-garage tunes that we heard last year. And it's uh, it's a banger to play to this day. Still getting reloads left, right and center, even on the radio and in dances where they are still happening. So let's crack on with this one. Bush Baby with Woman's Touch in number two for today's episode of Top 5s. Oh, yes. There we go. That one, number two on today's listing from Bush Baby track entitled Woman's Touch. Huge tune, one of the biggest tunes to be released in the UK last year in regards to dance music. Um, and that's my second place on this list. Now, it's going to be an interesting one as I unveil my uh, number one today, purely because this is a tune that I personally have used in mixes and sets in different countries, on different radio stations, on different platforms, a multiple uh, amount of times. It's a tune that I know will never disappoint me. It's that one tune in the bag that I know I can draw on at any time and it will turn a dance to an absolute um, raucous mess is the best way to describe it. This one um, a official, it's an unofficial remix of course that did drop um, for free download I believe for, uh, from Bush Baby last year as well following on from Woman's Touch actually this one is number one on today's listing for top fives. It goes by the name of Cutty Dub and oh my word what a rhythm it is. That's it for today people. We're going to get into this one now and we shall see you next time for another episode of Top 5 Nobody my boys flying on the run the world Let me tell you something, give me money for me girl Discussing the top tracks from the artists we love <laughs> Top 5s with Kovu